here from UAV Wholesale and uh, we're just going to have a look at our new uh, splash drone sample that's rocked up today so this is just a very brief unboxing a um, bit of a mixture of a package this one because uh, it is for uh, for sample purposes so um, we've ordered this with the release mechanism and also with the GoPro dive attachment uh, which basically lets you um, put your GoPro in uh, in a splash drone waterproof case and has the uh, waterproof cabling going to the video so that you can get FPV back onto your screen. So as you can see um, the splash drone is actually a 500 size uh, from motor to motor so it is quite quite a big aircraft, um, bigger than our, our 350s for sure and um, the transmitter, fairly basic, uh, looks like to be about a seven channel transmitter, um, maybe eight channels, we've got a couple up here, we've got our GPS channels and our IOC and return to home, so um, yeah it could be seven to eight channel transmitter, we haven't looked too, too much into that at the moment. Um, you'll see there that Swell Pro is actually the company that Splash Drone are, um, are going under, so uh, everything will be made by Swell Pro as such, and they'll be branded Splash Drone Swell Pro. Obviously, plan to release more products in the future. So uh, we'll we'll get the uh, the aircraft out and have a look. You can see uh, the motors there, and they've got the uh, the Splash Drone uh, logo on them. Uh, 600 and a bit hard for you to see but it's uh, 650 kV obviously they're all the same and obviously uh, being brushless they can go in the water which is a whole whole idea of this guy the top just unscrews with four four little thumb screws there and uh, comes off and obviously you can see around the edges there there's a white white seal um, just uh, just on there so that seals the top top plate on there's also these breather holes and I believe that that's also to do with GPS functionality for altitude so um, it is waterproof the water can't go through that white breathable paper plastic uh, whatever they call it, however um, it will allow your altimeter and the GPS to work fine so um, I have uh, confirmed that with Splash Drone that this is okay to put in the water. The first model Splash Drone made which was a Mariner um, did have different top plates, you could have a fully waterproof or basically a splash proof one uh, but I've been told that this one's fully waterproof so we'll be finding out fairly shortly. Uh, inside You've got um, obviously the Splash Drone branded GPS, got a um, flight controller, the LiPo battery which we'll get out and have a look. It's actually nice to have a, um, a LiPo if it's labelled and it is labelled. 14.8 volts, 4500 milliamps. not much else in there to see we've got uh, our ESC's and they are 40, 40A and we've also uh, got one of Splash Drone's MI600 the little red video transmitter there which obviously is standard if you order the video package uh, with their products and that wire will feed through um, to the uh, and connect up to the GoPro, the dive box, what they're calling it, which is just a waterproof box for the GoPro. So uh, just having a look uh, around at the um, the aircraft itself, um, but they probably will end up coming out in other colours, but for now we've just got the nice glossy white. And it's fairly rugged construction, feels fairly strong, and obviously waterproof. So if we have a look at the bottom of this, as I said, we've uh, ordered one with the release mechanism on it. So we'll zoom in and have a look so we can, um, we can see. 
So basically you've got a uh, splash drone servo, you've got the release mechanism here. Um, so basically as you can picture, that, uh, that pin pulls out and uh, releases your line for your bait uh, or anything else that you plan on releasing with it. Payloads up to 1.2 kilos we believe. We will be putting it into action with some sinkers and, and bait. Uh, at some stage down the ocean but um, yeah it looks fairly solid pretty fail safe as well the pins either going to slide out or it's not so you don't want anything or the potential for anything to get tangled up so so that all looks fairly good you can see that the servo cable goes through another thumb screw and that's all sealed internally there and then uh, inside and connects connects up this is actually the wire here that comes in at number one there and connects into the flight controller or the receiver. So um, yeah, not, not a lot inside. Um, probably more room for a bigger battery if you uh, if you wanted to try that at some stage. Um, but at the moment, the, um, the 4500 milliamps uh, what we'll be testing and going with. Um, claiming around 19 minutes flight time that it'd be unloaded, I would assume. So. We'll, uh, we'll give that a go tomorrow on dry land before we uh, do the water tests and see how we go. These fiberglass little rods for the legs here. Just push in. There's nothing that holds them in. There's no big deal about this. I'd say they'd be pretty much a throwaway item if they were broken and, and replaced. Um, obviously it's designed to fly without legs, uh, especially you know around the water. So they just plug straight in to the um, to the brackets there, and you're good to go. Uh, the next thing, we'll pull out the dive box. So again, as I said to you, it's um, basically just a, a GoPro uh, case, and um, pretty much like your waterproof case that you'd normally get with the GoPro, except that. Um, it has this wire coming out which is for your video and it's fully sealed so sorry you can't get this really clear on the camera um, but you can you can get the picture it's just a waterproof GoPro case with a video out that's sealed all the way through to the aircraft um, if you're not using the release mechanism over here um, here's a blank plug that just screws in there to fill in that hole pretty self-explanatory and uh, we've got our charger here we have had this out and tried the charger and um, it is a 4 amp charger and it took us just over an hour to charge that 4500 milliamp battery so quite impressed with the charger this will be standard with all the packages so um, you don't have to worry about you know waiting eight hours for your battery to charge uh, quite an impressive solid um, has a fan in it which some of the cheaper chargers don't have okay there we are zoomed in there so I just had to get another camera shot um, and there's little LEDs underneath it so you, you know exactly where your battery is at any one time while it's charging so quite impressed with the charger and then we've got our controller so the controllers um, very lightweight very thin so um, it's, it's actually not too bad and I suppose you've got to think that when you add a FPV monitor onto the top of this, however they're going to attach it, um, it will add some weight to it. We've already changed this one from mode 2 to mode 1 and um, not quite as easy as the traditional dimension transmitters that we deal with with Volkira. Uh, but it still can be done, which is which is nice to know. It probably took us half hour versus, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes with a Walkira transmitter. Um, just a little bit more needs doing um, in swapping the modes over. We'll be purchasing mode one and two, so hopefully that doesn't have to happen anyway. Um, it's set up a little bit different than uh, than some of the other quads out there. So you've got your on the left stick attitude. Um, hold which is, is what they're calling to be the manual manual mode and then um, the hold mode which is uh, the height 
and then the bottom one is full GPS mode. So we've got basically height or altitude hold and then the GPS lock is the bottom one which should lock it in position as well as the altitude. Uh, here are your just rotary knobs for the extra channels and one of those will operate our release mechanism. And then on the right we've just got IOC mode, orientation, and return to home. So a little bit different, we're used to having uh, return to home and GPS hold on the one switch, but this is set up to be separate. And obviously we have our props here, so we'll just have a quick look at them while I've got it. Uh, full carbon fibre props, the other way here. There's actually no key on that thread. They are self-tightening nuts. They screw in opposite directions. However, they're not attached as such to the propellers. So you can see in the middle there, there's a little plastic bush. That just pushes in when you, um, when you get your props. But full carbon props, obviously they go on quite easy. And then they just tighten up. So uh, there are indicators on the machine in which way they go. And I believe that um, as this is a sample model, it doesn't include those indicators on the propellers, but the mass production ones will when they come out. So uh, we'll take this out and give it a fly uh, in the morning, and um, we'll do a bit of a video review of it in flight, and then we'll take it down and see if we can get it wet. Thanks.